Hey everybody, a little bit of a different kind of video today. Um, I'm going to talk about this battery. Uh, XZNY, 12.8 volt, 20 amp hour battery. Um, I purchased this battery uh, on Amazon Deal Days. And uh, I did some battery tests on it, capacity tests. And uh, I'm pretty happy with the results, so I figured I'd share them with you guys. Um, so let's take a look, shall we? Um, first, let's look at a couple graphics here from, uh, from their website. Um, they are claiming, uh, let me see here, 4.85 pounds, uh, the dimensions 6.1 inches tall, 7.2 inches wide, 3 inches deep. Uh, the terminals on the top of the battery are uh, M5, and uh, they even advertise their little portable handle, which is actually when I was looking for these batteries, um, I, I don't know why, but I like this little portable, I like the little handle on these batteries, and I actually, when I saw this one on deal days and it had the little handle, that was actually one of the things that, that uh, attracted me to it, which sounds goofy, but hey. It is what it is. So let's take a look here, take a quick look at the manual, see if there's anything in here they, that we need to uh, discuss. Um, pretty much, uh, I guess XZNY, I'm not sure how you're supposed to say their name. Um, I just call them XZNY. Uh, I've heard other people try to make a pronunciation out of it. I, well, I'm just gonna stick with XZNY. Um, says they've been making batteries for 15 years. Uh, and they are an ISO 9001 certified factory. Um, the one discrepancy that I noticed was that uh, in the manual it says 10.8 volts. On the battery itself, it says uh, discharge cutoff voltage 10 volts, which is more in line with what uh, is normally happening with these BMSs. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, during my battery tests, I just tested down to 10 volts. And um, I want to say that my battery test ended before the BMS cut the battery off. Um, so other than that, uh, uh, the other specs on here <clears throat> pretty much line up with the manual. I guess a few warnings that, that they want you, uh, don't ever throw your battery into the water. Uh, keep it in a dry, shady, cool circumstances when not in use. Uh, and it's here's another one, um, never upside down the positive and negative, uh, which I would think is, uh, translation is, is don't hook the battery up backwards. Uh, and then uh, never connect the positive and negative terminals together with a, a metal, piece of metal, um, and do not ship or store the battery together with metal. Never knock, throw, or trample the battery, and never cut through the battery with a nail or other tool. So uh, they don't want you opening this thing up. And actually, I, I didn't open this one up to uh, to check out the BMS in it. I just uh, did a standard battery capacity test, um, which <clears throat> in one of my previous videos, I showed you that uh, I use the West Mountain Radio uh, computerized battery analyzer, and I have the CBA-4. I They have a new one now called the CBA-5. Um, very similar. They've they've changed the uh, I think the connections on it a little bit, um, but for the most part, it's it's the exact same thing. Um, I really like this battery tester. I've used it uh, for the last several years, and I'm very happy with the results. Um, so this is what we use for doing our battery analysis, uh, which we'll get into in just a second. Um, <clears throat> But real quick, a uh, couple more things here. Uh, basically, they're saying uh, max uh, charge voltage, 14.6 volts. And uh, they're saying that you can charge at 1C here, 20 amp, and you can discharge at 1C, uh, 20 amps. Um, peak discharge current is 40 amps for five seconds. Um, and basically, uh, what I did is I charged this battery. I normally charge... Uh, these at 0.5 C. So I only charge at 10 amps. Um, and then in the battery analysis that I did, which um, we will switch over now and pull put the, um, the battery analysis graphic up here on the screen, 
The first thing I'd like to point out in the graph is the difference between the 2 amp and the 10 amp load as far as the voltage out of the battery. Under the 2 amp load you can see that the battery starts off at about 13 volts, a little bit above 13 volts. Once we get in about 200 minutes or so into the test the, the, the voltage starts to drop down underneath 13 volts. Average is about 12.8 for a majority of the runtime and then starts to drop down towards the end. Once you get to about 450 minutes into the load test, drops down to about 12.7. And then, of course, we see the, uh, the, the standard lithium battery fall off at the end. Under the 10 amp load, you can see that the battery starts off at about 12.7 volts and maintains that almost fairly consistently through almost the entire test drops down to about 12.6 volts at about uh, 60 minutes in and then uh, finally dropping down to about 12.4 towards the end about an hour and a half into the test and then dropping down uh, once again quickly at the end. The thing that was um, I, I was really impressed with with this uh, battery was the outcome of the 2 amp load test and the 10 amp load tests came out almost identical with the capacity uh, on this battery. You can see um, in the 2 amp load test uh, it took 609.9 minutes and uh, ended up with a total capacity of 20.330 uh, amp hours um, which is great. That's 101 101.6% uh, capacity, um, and then at the 10 amp load test, um, almost identical, came out 20.383 amp hours, uh, and at 10 amps it ran for 122.32 minutes, and that's 101.9% uh, capacity. So um, at... 2 amps and 10 amps, um, both this battery uh, easily reached uh, capacity. Uh, very happy with that. Um, so I think uh, I give this battery a, a pass. Um, I'm very happy with the fact that uh, I picked this up on Amazon Deal Days, and uh, I want to say that it was about $10 less than its normal list price. So um, I feel like this is a good battery for. Uh, for the price. Um, if you guys want me to do more battery tests like this, um, I'd be happy to do them. Give me some ideas on uh, maybe some batteries that you're looking at. Um, I would love to start doing some more of these battery tests on some larger capacity batteries, uh, but I don't want to uh, initially try to <laughs> sink a whole bunch of money into some, uh, some expensive batteries. So uh, we'll see how things go. But uh, I would love to do some more battery tests here in the future. So um, with that, uh, please uh, like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys being here and uh, watching these videos. Um, I enjoy making them for you. So if you'd like me to continue to do that, please like and subscribe. Uh, maybe ring that bell so that you know when new videos get posted. And um, even sometimes even more importantly is uh, drop a comment below. Uh, even if you drop your favorite emoji, uh, just drop something in the comments below. Appreciate it. Thank you. We'll see you in the next one.